Hello, I'm Oscar, and welcome to the Bamboo Journey. In this episode, we're going to be experimenting with giving bamboo some color. I'm on a bamboo journey with you. Bamboo is a very naturally beautiful wood inside and out. The exterior of bamboo can produce a natural sheen if you apply some heat. The interior of bamboo reveals fascinating grain that we want to show off in our crafts and that is why we're deciding to use a dye or a stain. For this experiment, we're gonna be using blackberries. There's an infinite number of ways to paint, dye, or stain wood and it has a long history dating all the way back to the Egyptians where they used plants, minerals, and even insects to produce various colors and tones. The synthetic dyes came around in the 19th century and opened up the doors for numerous other colors and tones. So we definitely took the wrong turn in the previous episode by going to Dollar Tree. We were barking up the wrong tree. I wasn't happy with the Dollar Tree paint that we got. So I decided to go to Holler Tree. <laughs> if you've never been to Holler Tree, it's the best deals you can find. I just don't think there's gonna be any berries left, guys, unfortunately. A lot of dead trees back in here. I'm gonna take the horse into town, guys, just buy some. As much as I'd like to get footage of me picking and foraging, you know, I think that would've been cool. So to unlock the colors, in the blackberries we boiled them for about 30 minutes not so much of a boil but more of a simmer when you boil you want to be careful to not burn the blackberries and the amount of water you use can greatly vary the tone in which it produces the more water the lighter the tone but we want a light tone to start with so we did add much more water than needed. Uh, just remember that if you use a, a very little amount of water to watch this process to avoid burning the blackberries. So about halfway through this boiling process, I did mix up, mix it up, and I smashed the berries down into the pot to hopefully release as much of the juices as possible. Now, based on some of the research we did on this, typically there's some vinegar and some steel wool involved in the recipe. For this experiment, we're going to stick to strictly the blackberries themselves to see what we can produce. Keep in mind that even though we'll get some results in this video, some results may not appear until a bit later. So that is another of many reasons why you should subscribe and follow me on other platforms. I like to frequently post updates on shorts and such across many platforms. All right guys, so I went ahead and quickly crafted a bamboo ring. It's something I've been doing, prototypes, learning, and it's actually very easy to do this. Uh, if you didn't watch the last video where I basically did a couple with different uh, finishes check that video out but I just went ahead and quickly crafted a bamboo ring uh, you can see the the each fiber once you uh, sand it very good and uh, I don't know if we'll be able to see that through this stain but it would be cool if we could uh, so we're gonna give this a test uh, on this ring and we're just basically gonna just get some in this cup here not much. I think I'll just dip it and then just see what we get from that. Use these old rusty broken pliers first. Just to see what it looks like with just a dip. Just dipping it in. Need more in there. So, just went ahead and poured some more in there. So we can really fully submerge it. So just a dipping, we can already kind of start to see 
some color coming in and I'm getting it all over my hands but it's technically right now it's just blackberry juice we'll let this soak and we'll come back and see what we have this is an experiment if any of you guys have experience with this I would greatly appreciate any tips or suggestions down in the comments all right <clears throat> morning for some reason I was saying 24 hours I was meaning to say overnight so we basically we let the ring soak overnight in our blackberry dye stain whatever you want to call it and here we are we're gonna look at it together I'm excited and nervous at the same time but this is a journey we're on together and uh, we're gonna we're gonna have the reveal together and see what we got oh wow wow It's freaking beautiful. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Oh my God. What? Wow. There's like little tiny, little tiny, tiny, tiny chunks of blackberries on this so I'm gonna get some air and blow this thing off real good clean it real good and uh, that way we can let this thing dry and move on to a finish and a polish can you I just can't I cannot I never in my wildest dreams would have imagined that just pure blackberry juice, no vinegar, no uh, steel wool. And from my understanding, adding vinegar and steel wool is basically like a chemical process to uh, help the wood or material that you're staining absorb the colors. And from what we can see, obviously, I don't see the need in that. Now, maybe there's other reasons for the vinegar and steel wool. This is something that I would like to learn more about. So if you do know more about that, please leave that in the comments. But, I mean, this, this, this right here is, is more than I would have expected. And more than I needed. A little darker than I wanted, which means it will dry to be a little bit lighter tone which is totally okay um, and we we did add a lot more water than needed in the boiling process so uh, what we're seeing now is on the lighter side of what we could have produced and you can see how dark it is and that's just like 12 hours of soaking so yeah, so I'm going to get my air, blow this off, and then we're going to get a nice reveal of this guy. What a journey, what a reveal, what an awesome project, what an awesome color. I just I can't believe how beautiful it is. Guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, love you guys. See you around.